flying cars in 2024. Introduction. Flying cars are vehicles that can travel both on the ground and in the air. They have been a popular topic in science fiction for decades, but they may soon become a reality. Several companies are developing flying cars, and some of them aim to launch them commercially by 2024. However, there are still many challenges and uncertainties that need to be overcome before flying cars can become widely used. What are flying cars? Flying cars are also known as EVTLs, which stands for Electric Vertical Takeoff and Landing. They are powered by batteries or hybrid engines, and they use propellers or rotors to lift off and land vertically. They can also fold or retract their wings or blades when driving on the road. Some of the advantages of flying cars are that they can avoid traffic congestion, reduce travel time, save fuel, and offer a new mode of transportation. Who is developing flying cars? There are many companies that are working on flying cars, both in China and around the world. Some of the notable ones are HT Aero, an affiliate of Chinese electric car maker Xpeng which plans to launch its flying car by 2024. It has a lightweight design and can fly at low altitudes. Fiat Chrysler, which partnered with Archer Aviation, a US startup, to produce its flying car by 2026. It has a sleek design and can fly up to 60 miles at 150 miles per hour. Xpeng, which also has its own flying car project called KiwiGoGo, which is expected to be ready by 2025. It has a pod-like design and can carry two passengers. Hyundai, which teamed up with Uber, to create its flying car by 2028. It has a futuristic design and can carry four passengers. What are the benefits of flying cars? Flying cars have many potential benefits for individuals and society. Some of them are. They can reduce traffic congestion and pollution by using the airspace instead of the roads. They can save time and money by shortening travel distances and avoiding tolls and parking fees. They can improve mobility and accessibility by reaching remote or hard-to-reach areas. They can enhance safety and security by avoiding collisions and accidents on the ground. They can create new opportunities for tourism, recreation, and business by offering a unique and exciting way of traveling. What are the challenges of flying cars? Flying cars also face many challenges and risks that need to be addressed before they can become widely adopted. Some of them are. They require high costs of development, production, maintenance, and operation. They need advanced technology and infrastructure to ensure reliability, efficiency, and performance. They pose environmental and noise issues due to their energy consumption and emissions. They raise legal and ethical questions about ownership, liability, privacy, and security. They demand regulatory and social acceptance from governments, authorities, and public. How will flying cars be regulated? One of the biggest challenges of flying cars is how to regulate them in terms of safety, standards, and rules. There are different agencies and organizations that are involved in this process, such as the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, in the U.S., which oversees civil aviation and air traffic control. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration NASA, in the U.S., which conducts research and development on urban air mobility. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency ASA, in Europe, which sets regulations and guidelines for civil aviation. The International Civil Aviation Organization, ICAO, which is a UN agency that coordinates international air transport. These entities are working with various stakeholders, such as manufacturers, operators, pilots, customers, and communities, to establish a framework for flying cars that ensures safety, efficiency, and sustainability. How will flying cars be used? Flying cars have different use cases depending on the design, capacity, range, speed, and purpose. 
Some of the possible scenarios are Personal use. Flying cars can be used by individuals or families for personal transportation or leisure activities. They can be owned or rented on demand. Commercial use. Flying cars can be used by businesses or organizations for commercial transportation or delivery services. They can be operated by humans or autonomously. Public use. Flying cars can be used by governments or agencies for public transportation or emergency services. They can be integrated with existing modes of transport or infrastructure. What are the impacts of flying cars? Flying cars have various impacts on different aspects of society and economy. Some of them are Transportation Flying cars can transform the transportation system by creating new modes of mobility and connectivity. They can also affect the demand and supply of other forms of transport such as cars, trains, buses, or planes. Environment Flying cars can affect the environment by reducing greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution on the ground. They can also increase energy consumption and noise pollution in the air. Economy Flying cars can create new markets and industries by generating new products and services. They can also stimulate economic growth and innovation by creating new jobs and opportunities. Society Flying cars can influence the society by changing the lifestyles and behaviors of people. They can also affect the social equity and inclusion by creating new gaps or bridges among different groups of people. What are the future prospects of flying cars? Flying cars have a promising future as they offer a novel and attractive solution for urban mobility and transportation. However, they also face many uncertainties and challenges that need to be resolved before they can become mainstream. Some of the factors that will determine the future of flying cars are Technology The advancement and availability of technology will affect the performance, reliability, and affordability of flying cars. It will also determine the level of automation and integration of flying cars with other systems. Regulation The development and implementation of regulation will affect the safety, standards, and rules of flying cars. It will also determine the level of coordination and cooperation among different actors and stakeholders involved in flying cars. Demand. The demand and preference of customers will affect the adoption and usage of flying cars. It will also determine the level of satisfaction and acceptance of flying cars among different segments of society. Conclusion. Flying cars are vehicles that can travel both on the ground and in the air. They have been a popular topic in science fiction for decades, but they may soon become a reality. Several companies are developing flying cars, and some of them aim to launch them commercially by 2024. However, there are still many challenges and uncertainties that need to be overcome before flying cars can become widely used. Flying cars have many potential benefits for individuals and society, but they also pose many risks and issues that need to be addressed. Flying cars have various impacts on different aspects of society and economy, but they also face many uncertainties and challenges that need to be resolved. Flying cars have a promising future as they offer a novel and attractive solution for urban mobility and transportation but they also depend on many factors that will determine their success or failure.